hello guys and welcome back to the channel now guys this reads in no other way than get lost and as i bring you the narrative you may well agree with me or not but you may well agree with me guys i bring you this lagos court sentences 17 residents for violating stay at home order so that's the headline that we're contending with in this video uh lagos court sentences 17 residents for violating stay at home order so now let's now find out what this uh storyline is all about the police in lagos on wednesday arraigned an additional 17 residents who flouted the stay at home order of the state government those arraigned include adekunle peters 28 uh rickman babajide 18 and then it goes on to give you a list of uh the names um let me just skip through the names came through the names the defendants appeared before a yaba chief magistrate's court on a charge of gathering and loitering the government had restricted movement of the residents ordering them to stay at home except if on essential duty this is aimed at curbing the spread of the global situation the defendants pleaded guilty to the charge prosecution team led by Mr. Cyril Ejiofor 4 from the Lagos State Criminal Investigation Department Panty uh, Yaba had told the court that they committed the offense on April the 1st at Ajegunle. So this is now a latest round up of uh, people uh, going about uh, survival means within the Lagos space and then being rounded up they say double down this is double jeopardy as they say in law and this is a uh, double wahala for the body as a felic falakute would uh, have you have now let's just uh, go through this for a moment so Lagos is largely uh, a black economy a state because a lot of people work really outside of the main frame for their daily bread so you have your guy that goes around collecting refuse from houses and then is paid a stipend and that is how he feeds his family you have people working in dump yards re retrieving coppers etc which can be recycled and that is how they earn their uh, daily bread you have your hairdressers your barbers your organizers your mechanics your year lodgers etc you have all of these people who are essentially self-employed but they are living off greed of the main stream of society and this is essentially the uh, largest uh, form of income source for uh, the average person in lagos so it is essentially within lagos if you don't go out for the day you do not feed for that day because the economy as uh as you know within the nigerian space is so contracted is uh, that uh, uh you have to earn that daily feed because people live essentially within the nigerian space from hand to mouth so now you now have this stay at home order from this uh our no school sat uh president uh malam buhari some full animal from daira telling the people the yoruba people no well i won't say the yoruba people because because lagos is not really a yoruba space it's a nigerian space it's a micro nigerian city because everybody of course is represented fully it's majority yoruba but all of the spectrum of the nigerian uh experience is uh manifest within the legal space so you have all of these people because lagos you have to understand is one of the five to seven mega cities in the world and a mega city is where you have a large concentration of people within a small geographical space so lagos is about 20 million population thereabouts which makes it a mega city i think uh delhi in china in, uh, not china of course delhi is not in china don't be stupid uh delhi in india is another mega city and they're about 
uh, five to seven of them that are considered mega city by the United Nations and Lagos is one of them is one of the marquee mega cities in the world in fact Lagos is so big that it's bigger than most of the West African sub-regions because of course the population of Benin Republic is about seven eight nine million and Lagos is twice that uh, Sierra Leone is probably a, a third of the size uh, or whatever the split is of the size of so Lagos is a mega city is essentially what I'm saying and the economy of that city is a hands-to-mouth economy essentially there's vast wealth there's some of the richest people on this planet in Lagos State and some of the most dire poverty uh, that you'd experience in humankind is also manifest in that state and it's that dire uh, situation that is essentially the experience of uh, of lagos because of course not everybody in lagos is mega rich not more than a two three five percent of lagos is mega rich and these are international wealth these are dollar billionaires and then you have uh, a small catchment of middle income and essentially then the whole garment of the whole space then is a hands-to-mouth economy so you have a hands-to-mouth economy and then you're telling them to stay at home so now if they stay at home then what happens to them food you cannot provide electricity you cannot provide water you cannot provide uh stimulation you cannot provide you cannot provide anything for these people then you are telling them then off the back of not being able to provide for them to stay at home so what are then go they going to stay at home to do to stay at home to die a slow death of uh, drinking water from the well at the back as food and soaking gari till the gari runs out but then they cannot leave their house to go and buy gari because they'll be arrested and then arraigned in front of the uh, court 17 uh, unfortunate people have been uh, put upon so now what way is then for the nigerian person is really where this uh video is going so you tell them to stay at home there's no provision at home these are daily bread sort of people and they cannot go out to earn their daily bread because then they'll be arrested and arraigned and then put in kirikiri to be eating that uh, uh half uh, beans half uh sand uh, feed that they give them in prisons in nigeria so this is really the situation that uh the nigerian uh lower classes find themselves in so essentially what these 17 people and the people before them because of course these 17 people are not the only people that have been arraigned uh, arrested and arraigned but what essentially these people that are now going out to earn their daily bread are saying to malam buhari uh uh, some wolu and uh, tinubu and all of these elements that are trying to constrict them and uh, consign them to a slow uh, what uh, chinese uh, water torture uh, death is get lost is effectively what they're saying get lost you know so you cannot not be able to provide for us and then restrict us from being able to provide for ourselves this is really where this story is and it really is really something that just the senses just imagine it for a moment uh you 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 are living in your house a lot of my uh, uh subscribers are living abroad and a significant number also are living in nigeria but wherever you are living but let's use the abroad example just to make the point you are living in your home in germany uk us whatever and then suddenly they tell you to stay at home that you cannot no longer leave your house you have not committed any crime uh, but they're telling you that there's a global situation that they're contending with and therefore that global situation requires you to self-contain within your home okay you have to understand of course and you are an understanding person there's a global pandemic and the government of your space the governance of, of your space the expertise and the science is telling you that the best way to deal with this is for nobody to move out of their homes so that this thing can pass and then measures can then be put in place to rebuild society i don't think anybody even needs anything like a brain to understand that this is just basic stuff so that's fair enough so now you stay at your home then what uh, what do you do in your home 
you have to eat oh so there must be food i mean that's the first uh, thing before shelter they say what is the most crucial thing for a human being uh for survival the most crucial thing or the two most uh, crucial things uh for a human being for survival is food and water uh, that first and then everything else can follow after that so if you have a uh, food in your belly and you are sufficiently uh, hydrated with water or some form of liquid uh, I, I am partial to uh, a more exotic sort of uh, maybe a bottle of red wine might well do me better than but whatever your preferences are you are uh, fed and uh, lubricated and then you can then contend with that so then what comes next is a roof over your head so you are being asked to stay at home then the food and the water must be provided first so you have that and then of course then you have then to have some form of electricity so you are able to function a failed state essentially is what nigeria is and this is yet another example of it conversations in the comment section this is what i am inviting what says you uh the Lagosians are telling malam buhari and baba jide sanwolo and his uh daddy and his uh, boyfriend or whatever he is uh tinobu to get lost is effectively get lost is what effectively what these people are saying what is due to malam buhari and all of these uh criminal cabals that are now uh holding us advice grip in our own country our own country oh, is just because the nigerian mindset is so docile that is why these people are getting away with this there are two uh 100 million of us according to the uh wayo wayo statistics but i don't believe that there's a uh, more than 120 million legitimate nigerians because of course they're counting all of uh malam buhari's tribesmen and their ships but uh and their cattle etc but there are two million or 200 million of course uh, uh, according to the official statistics and the people that are holding us to hostage they are not more than a thousand so 200 million to a thousand is really the uh statistic of the nigerian space so what then spark is then needed for the 200 million to react to the 1,000 or so that are holding us two hostage within that space, there are even less than a thousand. I would have you have, uh, pro probably less than uh, 500 even. I would really have you have because if you look at all of the key names, there's not more than really uh, uh, maybe like a hundred people are the people holding that country to a uh, hostage, and then they cascade down in order of hierarchy. And uh, but the Randolph number is let's just say 500. I'm not even going to go with a thousand. The people holding 200 million people to hostage are less than uh, 500. So now, what response is then? Because these 17 people are telling them to get lost, but what are you saying in your individual homes? Because everybody will say, Ah, the youth should react, the youth to re should react. But then, who is that youth you are saying within the comfort of your home, hiding away? Uh, protecting your own uh, children but then you're asking the youths to react who are these youths that you're asking to react is really the question that i'm asking come share thoughts about all this with me in the comment section but first you click on uh the red subscribe button and then that bell button as well so you can be part of this conversation that i bring to you uh regularly i know i've been off for like a few days I was on daddy duties, but then of course the channel continues and the conversation carries on anyway. So come share thoughts about all this with me in the comment section. So I'll leave you here. Carry this conversation and with you in the comment section, but here I say peace.